In the previous chapter, we were discussing periodic trends, and there's actually one more periodic trend that we need to discuss, and we tend to put it into the chapter involved in bonding because the periodic trend is an important aspect in bonding. The periodic trend is called electronegativity, and it's a measure of an atom's ability to compete for electrons with other atoms to which it's bonded. And we're going to see in this chapter that electronegativity is a very important property in terms of bonding. So the electronegativity depends on the ability of an atom to attract electrons. So this is going to be directly related to electron affinity, one of the periodic trends that we have previously discussed. And it's also related to the ability of an atom to hold on to electrons, which is going to be related to ionization energy, another periodic trend that we have discussed. The periodic trend of electronegativity follows the same trend as ionization energy and electron affinity in that it increases as we travel to the right and go up on the periodic table. There's one very important exception to this trend and that's noble gases and noble gases have relatively low electronegativity. So noble gases do not really want to pull electrons onto themselves. So when we look at the periodic table, electronegativity increases as we go up and to the right. But remember, this trend falls apart when we get to the noble gases. What I like to remember is the most electronegative element in the periodic table is fluorine. 